Welcome back. So we're walking through different uses of the singular value decomposition for uh, image compression, for dimensionality reduction, and for least squares regression. And so here I'm going to walk you through how to use the SVD for least squares linear regression models uh, in Python. So here's a Jupyter Notebook. Uh, this was converted by Daniel Dolusky. All of the code is at databookuw.com. And we're going to work out how you can use, um, use the SVD to build these linear regression models from data. Okay, So uh, I think this is a pretty fun example. And I would always point out, if you want to use a mathematical tool like the pseudo inverse or a least squares model, it's good to practice using it on a system where you know the answer, where you actually know uh, what, the, what the right answer is, so you can see if your method is working before you apply it to new data where you might not know the answer. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to have data uh, pairs A and B. So these are going to be kind of scatter plots of data that we believe has some linear relationship. And we're going to try to find the best fit line uh, with slope x so that a x equals b. We're going to try to solve for x that is, in some sense minimizes the sum of the squares of the errors of all of these blue points from this yellow line. Okay, That's the least squares solution. And we can solve for it using, uh, using this uh, the singular value decomposition. Okay. Uh, and what I'm going to show you is we're going to start with data where we actually build it knowing the answer. So we're going to start with uh, data where we, we know the slope of the line and we literally build B from uh, that model. And then we're going to see if we can discover that slope. But everything I'm going to show you generalizes to the higher dimensional case where, uh, where maybe I have A times X equals B where there are multiple factors A that we're going to use to build a model for B. So there might be multiple columns in this A matrix. Uh, there might be multiple measurements of, of different A's, A1, A2, A3. And we're going to build a model of B based on all of that. So that's what this really is, is this is building models from data. So I have a bunch of data of A's and B's. And I'm going to try to build a model of basically the slope of AX equals B. So that in the future, if I have a new data point A, I can predict what the outcome B will be just by multiplying by that slope X. So that's a really rudimentary model. Uh, but that is in the spirit of, of lots of machine learning models nowadays uh, where you build kind of these predictions from data. Okay? And in this case, what we would do is we would have uh, the SVD of the A matrix here. So we have A equals U sigma V transpose. And we could build our best fit x tilde by taking the pseudo inverse of A. So we can invert these matrices one by one. And we would get um, U transpose sigma inverse V. So this is the least squares solution, the kind of the pseudo inverse solution for the best fit slope given uh, that matrix, th that information. Uh, in A and in B. So if you measured A and B, you can find this slope. And this generalizes to higher dimensional distributions where you have multiple uh, input directions A and some output variable B. Good. So here we're going to cook up data for kind of this A, the single input, single output system. Uh, where we know the slope is 3. And we're going to build a uniform distribution of A points. We're going to multiply them by 3 to get B, and then we're going to add some white noise onto that so that it looks a little noisy. Okay, that's what we're going to do here is take X times A plus some random noise. Okay, and then I'm going to plot those points, and I'm going to plot the true line. And then what we're going to do is we're going to compute this best fit line using the SVD down here. So we're going to take the SVD of A. We're going to get our u, our sigma, and our v transpose. We're going to build this uh, least squares best estimate for u tilde, just like what I wrote here. It's um, v transpose transpose is v times inverse of sigma times u transpose times b. And then we're going to plot the true line, the approximate line, and the data all on top of each other. So that's what we're seeing here. Let's run it. And you can actually see it's pretty good. Okay, so the true line is this, this white line here. And even from those noisy blue X's, you get a pretty good estimate of that line slope in yellow here. This is our best fit regression line. It's pretty darn accurate just from this noisy data.
And if I, if I decrease the amount of noise in my data, so I tighten the distribution of these blue Xs, or if I had more data points, this line would just get better and better. Okay, so that's relatively easy to do. If I wanted to, uh, I could just say instead of, instead of points every 0.25, uh, spaced 0.25 apart, I could space them more closely 0.1 apart. And in principle, my line just gets better and better. Okay, so this is a really, really simple example. You don't technically need the SVD of your, of your A here, but I'm showing you this in a way that would generalize to data that had multiple input factors, okay? Uh, and just to point out, there are other ways of computing this best slope line. So this is the SVD approach uh, that we just used. This is X tilde one. You could also use the P inverse, the pseudo inverse. It's exactly the same thing. That's what this is, is the pseudo inverse of A times B. Uh, there's a third method we have in the book, regress B comma A, but that's only specific to MATLAB. So really you have to use these two, uh, these two uh, commands in, in Python. Okay, so very easy to take data pairs A and B and build a model for the slope that relates those that you could then use uh, in the future. Okay, thank you.